All right. We're coming live here on Intuitive Angel Messages. Today, it is Wednesday, middle of the week. And uh, I, I am Kristen Davies, a uh, medium and channeler here on in, uh, in the group Intuitive Angel Messages here on Facebook. And with me, my special guest today is Belinda Jennings. Hello. And <laughs> and so today we are going to be uh, channeling the angels and the archangels, which I'm super pumped about. Um, I, I love it. So I'm just going to uh, just make sure that everything looks good over on Intuitive Angel Messages as we are broadcasting live on Intuitive Angel Messages right now. And it does. It looks great. Everybody's saying hi. They're saying hi, girls. Hi. Hello, ladies. Woo! And so, <laughs> uh, so that's great. And um, everybody's just rolling in here and saying hello. And uh, so that's how uh, we'll just let uh, a few few people, you know, obviously come on in. Um, <clears throat> so it's interesting because the last time we went live was in April. And it was fun. I enjoyed it. I can <laughs> see that you are so open to spirit and so divinely connected. It was so apparent to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how long have you been connected with spirit for? Like, how long has it been? Has it been your entire life or has it kind of ramped up at any point? No, entire life. Entire life. You're one of those. You're, it's interesting because it's been your entire life. And with me, it's been really since the age of, I would say, 30. So it's not a it's it's been, I would say half my life really has been um, not hearing spirit and then moving along into the second half. And it just came in nice. And oh, someone's saying they feel Jesus, most yeah. likely. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. I always say the energy of Jesus or Christ consciousness is here with us. High vibrational. Um, best thing I ever did was ask Jesus to help me. Some are always connected with Jesus. I wasn't that person. I was like, eh, not interested because um, it was tied to religion. But uh, now I'm like, it's been the best thing I've ever asked for. Um, so what's happened between april to now with your team of angels this is what i want to know what's happening i've been doing a lot of people um, i've been doing this uh, ascending yes a lot of ascension symptoms yeah and i'm yep. rewiring yeah oh and you did the rewiring with rebecca and nina awesome Awesome. Um, I'm doing tea readings. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, that is so cool. I'm almost finished. Uh, beginner's wow. class. And oh, that is so awesome. And numerology. I love numerology. Oh, so that is so I'm cool. That. I'm almost finished yeah. that too. So I could do some for the club. You know. Oh, I would love that. That's awesome. Because nobody, well, I'm not saying nobody. They're just, nobody has stepped forward to offer, you know, uh, tea leaf readings or numerology. But that, that would be so awesome. I'm sure many are tuned into that. And they're always doing it, you know, at home. So what have your angels been saying to you recently? It's time to step out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yep, I hear you on that one. I yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I'm like, well, I guess I could do one video a week, you know. And they said so, they're proud that I finally said, okay, I finished dealing with my life yeah. problems, so mm -hmm. now I'm dealing with what they yeah. want me to do. Yeah, and and honestly, like when you have stressors and you know pressure in your life you know that's when you maybe just decompress and relax you don't you don't need to stay step forward and they don't want us to they just want us to rest and 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 focus on other things so then when that's nicely resolved hope i know that you were saying it's resolved 
Well, be, it's better. <laughs> it's better. You know, smoothing out a little bit. Ride. Yeah, I know. Life, life is a roller coaster ride. What? Oh my God! Can I get on the kitty ride? <laughs> Right, right. Am I right? Yeah, but I like the roller coaster, so. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if it's too boring, then what? You know? So sometimes I like it, and other times I'm like, I think I've had enough. Ow, can you take this bar off my uh, lap, right. please? <laughs> but I like the last scene, so I like it when it goes up in the air and you're going down. And the butterflies in your yes. stomach, and here we go, we're going live. Woo! Yep, yep. I like that. It's a nice rush. It is. It is. It's a good rush, isn't it? And it's interesting because you're like, oh, okay, heart palp. <laughs> but you do it anyways. And that's honestly the, the, the best thing ever, you know? You could be fearful about doing anything in life, but if you feel like that pull and that draw to move in that direction and you do it anyways, I know your divine team is proud of you. Yeah. And that speaks for everybody. Well, I'm not really fearful anymore. Oh, that's so, great. Because, you know, like, uh, I've been close to death three times. So, and the second yeah. two times, they was like, uh, you shouldn't be yeah. here. I said, uh, 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 step back, step back, step back. It's not time for me to go home yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. And there's too many of us that need you. I mean, we need you. I need you because I'm, I'm, all, I mean, I've told you that before. I'm like, I'm only one person here. And, um, you know, there are just, you know, I only have so much energy to put forth in a week to help so many people. So, you know, the more light workers that are ready to come forward and help the, the better. That's a strange the spot. World. It takes yeah. a toll on your energy. It does. And the world needs us. They need us. Even if we are just actively, you know, encompassing the planet with white light and sending everyone love and projecting love, even for a few seconds, you can just put your hands up. I remember Jesus saying this, how important just is. Like, even if you're seeing something you don't like, you know, if you can just sit for 30 seconds and project white light out of your hands and just send that person oh, or that situation love. Don't just be send baby. it. Hey, it was ridiculous. I went out shopping earlier. <sighs> Mother said, oh, my son is just grinning at you. I said, I know. <laughs> the babies <laughs> love I, you. And we had a nice conversation, me and the babies. <laughs> oh, I love that. And the babies need us. You know, the kids need us. They need us. So I just, oh, man, I love that. I got so, a grandson. You know that. No. Yes. Oh no, you yes. did tell me, but it, I mean that you told me this. Four months now, but you oh, four that. months. Yes. I think that he is walking and talking because he's always conversating with me. I oh you, you my gosh. Talk now. You got to talk to me now, so we have a good chat. <laughs> what is like? Obviously, he's only four months old, but what is his personality like? Is he like a little angel? You know what I mean? Like, describe well, him a little bit. Well, he likes to laugh. He's trying Aww. to sit down. Because I sing the ancient oh. spider with him, and he just giggles, and I make up songs for him. To oh, he must have loved that. Is. So, and he loves music, so I'm always singing to him, and now he's trying to sing with me, so that's a good thing. Oh, my God, that is so cute. I tell him, wait till I turn on Amadeus, so he can come and show you, so we can play the, the, uh, you know, the piano and the violin and stuff, and he look at me like, yeah, I'm right, Grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And at that point, you know, you're not supposed to be eating food. You know, you're supposed to still be on a bottle. But no. He wants food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I see a lot of parents kind of moving in that direction. Um, you know, just giving them a little bit, you know, soft. Make, no, and, he, and likes, they, he likes to eat out of a spoon. Oh, my gosh. And he's four months. Four months. <laughs> Wow. He for me and tried to, yesterday he went down to the floor. I said, what is she doing down there? I said, but you want to play with the cats? And he started laughing. I said, you can't get down there, boy. You're going to kill me. Your mom going to kill me. He said, he started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going for the kitty. Yeah. Wait till those kitties. Run, kitties. <laughs> I got three of them and they cats. They're not kitties. Oh, they're cats. I got, I got the oh. mother the father and the daughter 
Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> the whole family. Yeah, he must see. love it when he comes over to grandma's. <laughs> when he come over here, he don't want to leave. You would think I was his mom. <laughs> I love that. Well, he probably will. Let's be honest. I mean, it's grandma. You, like, he wants to go see grandma. Yeah, never want to leave. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, so t tell me, tell me, um, so Rose, your guardian angel, I know your guardian angel's name is Rose. What is she saying to you about what is to come in your future? What does she want? Like, what does she want you to do moving forward? Well, she wants me to advertise. She wants me to share my talent with others. Mm -hmm. She said, you can even teach them how to do it. I said, yeah, really? And she says, yeah, really? You are a natural teacher. Yeah, yeah. You know, I taught special aid and those are my babies. Exactly. <laughs> like you have a teaching background. It makes sense that you could step forward. And you just see how it feels within. Follow your intu in your internal guidance system if that's a pull and you're like, yeah, let's move. There's just so many avenues to take with this, isn't it? Right. So many. Like, so many. And so many would love to learn. So, you know, that's why me and Rebecca started the Master Channeling course because we were saying to ourselves, it's time to show everybody what we have that we've learned over years and to help them. So, so I thought today... We are going to be channeling the angels and archangels for everyone. Wow. I didn't just leave it at the angels because I know I can just sense that the archangels want to have a word as well. I don't know if you sense that. Yes, I sensed that early this morning. Yeah, you did? Okay. It's just there. And um, maybe like while I'm taking everybody's names and I'm asking that if you have already had your question answered last Sunday, if you could please allow those who haven't to step forward, that would be amazing if you could do that and just allow those who haven't been able to ask their question to go ahead and step forward and uh, ask their question. Um, maybe could you explain to everybody what is the difference vibrationally and energetically that you feel between an archangel and an angel, what do you feel the difference is? So, oh, like, how how do we know that the archangels even want to come through today? Oh, they hot. They get hot. My whole body gets hot. It's yeah, hot like I'm on fire. <laughs> well, they have more oomph to them, don't yes, they? they? More have, energy, they don't they? Feel the energy so potent that it makes you wanna. Ooh, where the cold water? <laughs> and and the angels, when they come, they come on this side of me. Oh, and the angels come on this side, and the descending oh. masters they like to slap me in the back of my neck, you know. And then when I get people here, and when I get people that I really don't know, they're like right here in front of me. Wow, that is wild to me. Um, when I sense the angels, uh, I'll get a stillness, complete stillness, loss of hearing in one side of my head. And then I know they're talking right into my ear and it's making even my eardrum vibrate. And, uh, when I have an archangel, they just show up outside of me. Like they'll come straight, usually straight down when I'm doing lives and it's like whammo. And, um, sorry guys. It just seems to be having issues uh, loading up in real time on Facebook for me. So I'm just trying to get all of your names as much as I can. Um, I'm going to aim for approximately 10 people. So if I miss you, I'm sorry. Um, it's just not loading up for me right now. <laughs> and, we, have so we have so much energy. Yeah, honestly, I have two laptops here. And it's doing it on both laptops. Yeah, like, we have a lot of energy right now. There's, You know what I mean? And they're just like, I'm starting to get chills already. So I'm starting to get really chilled too, actually. Yeah. It's like just the soothing energy. I don't know if everybody's starting to feel that. It's uh, starting to build behind me and above me. <laughs> and I'm like, mm. um, So when the archangels come in, it's much more 
<laughs> like, like boom. here we go. Yeah. And I remember when I was stepping forward uh, to channel with Alex, and I remember um, just two more names here. I remember um, when I was going to channel with Alex, I said, you know, with Archangel Michael, quiet, not saying a word to me. And I yeah. knew. And then when we got going in with channeling Lucifer, he, he looked over at me and went, here we go. I'm going to shove you in off the deep end in a pool. <laughs> and he shut, he like pretended to shove me like in my head, showing me that he was shoving me in. Here we go. Off we go. And, and I didn't have a say in the matter. And then you see the bigger picture, like Mimi, I, I, Kristen to, okay, there's a bigger purpose here. Yeah. And the archangels are going to make sure that you walk that line, whether you like it or not. Thank you. Uh huh. And years when I've been saying, Oh, I don't know who's talking to me, but I wish you'd stop or I go somewhere and people just want to talk to me. And I don't even know you from Adam. And I'm like, oh, well, I got a message for you. I'm going to give you your message, and then I got to keep it moving. Because yeah, and, and then, like, because, you know, as a, as a channeler or a medium, it's not about me, me, I, 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 is it? It's no. about relaying the message for the person. It's between that archangel or that angel, that guardian angel, and that person. And uh, not always easy, is it? No. And sometimes you're just like, you know, you just do the best that you can. Well, I just give them the message. Mm -hmm. If they want to accept it, yeah. and if they don't, at least I gave it to you. Exactly. And honestly, if we don't relay that message to you, you know what happens to us as the channelers and mediums? What happens to us if we don't? I don't know. I feel Pressure. Yeah. On us. Yeah. Mm. It's like, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Mm. Yeah. Like, come on. Come on. Listen to us. Pay attention. Pass along the message. And, and, and they're just relentless. They're relentless. Like, we're just yeah, sitting there going. Don't think about sleeping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't even think about sleeping. Like, if you don't listen to them, if they're guiding you on a certain path in your life and you get that, I get like a tightness in my chest and like a heaviness and it doesn't back off to the point where I'm just laying there awake. And there's nothing I can do. I didn't see and, Nope. Not a wink. Not even for a minute can you sleep. And so then you're like, all right. I tell so, you, don't worry. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, and then you say, all right. Uh, like for me, I was guided to move to the city where I am now from one up uh, from here. And I wasn't listening. For two nights, I didn't sleep a wink. So if you don't listen, I'll tell you that right now. It is not a good time. You get it. You get it. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it one way or another. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let everybody know the, the names on the list. Okay. Um, so that they know that this is what who we're going to call forward. And um, we'll probably do a few more after this. It's just that none of my pages are reloading. Err, unless I hit reload. And on, on B Live, it's showing all you guys posting, but I can't see your names. It's just comment from Facebook. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, so on the list, we have Jennifer, Norma, Danica, Daphne, Angela, Kathy, Amanda, Jana, Lorenda, Lorenda, Katya. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Okay, so who's going to step forward first? So we're going to, we're <laughs> let's, let's ask who they want to answer. Uh, uh, Jennifer, um, I know you've got a question. If you could type your name Jennifer and then type your question, uh, that would be helpful for me here so I can read that it's coming from Jennifer. And then... Either way, they're saying either way, you or me. Do you want to take it? I'll take Jennifer's, it. Jennifer's question? Okay, Jennifer says, what are her angels' names? Mm. They're, they're all different, aren't they? Well, you got a lot. And yeah, it feels like. Yeah, Michael. 
in a teens, like 14 yeah, angels. 15. 15? 15 angels. You can feel them all. They're like encompassing us. Yeah, I'm like. like surrounded. Which one should I say? <laughs> Maybe the guardian angels, yeah. because you'll have two out of that 15. Three. Some people have three. Cool. Very cool. You're teaching me something right there. How cool is that? Um, but Michael's always around you. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus, so he comes in and out, especially yeah. when you call him. Because yeah. you've been calling on him lately. So he's been helping you. So are you praying a lot right now, Jennifer? Are you talking to them? Are you asking for help right now? That's the question. Mm -hmm. She wants to know if you're picking up on one of the names being Celestine. Oh, that's your guardian name, you girl. Totally agree. Celestine and, is your guardian, and you got mm -hmm. a male one, too. Sweet. And I'm asking him what's his name, and he says, she know who I am. Yeah, you know, they do the same thing with me. What they care about is that you pick up on their vibrational frequency, that you feel them and sense them. Their name is you know, second yeah. secondary. Yeah, she says. She says she knows who I am. She knows my name. She calls me all the time. Sweet. And I said, but why you don't want to tell me? He said, because she knows her name. Yeah. So you know him. Yep. She says that she wants to talk to them. All she you... gonna do is just talk to them like I'm talking to you. Yep. I'm like talking to my angels all the time. Sometimes I'm walking down the street and I'm yakking away to them and people are looking at me like, who are you talking to? And I'm like, so, my angels. If you don't want to do it verbally, do it telepathic. Yeah, in your mind. Yeah, if you're, if you're ever in a situation or a moment where you need help and you're like, Oof, this is a pressure cooker, whatever is happening in your life, mentally in your head, call on them to help with that situation right in that moment they'll hear you and they will be on it on it is there do you have is that incense or something over there yes okay i was just gonna say is that um, something physical or energy because i could see it coming up no, and i was like just making it sure I got it <laughs> they like thought i was a buddha okay. <laughs> and I says, no i just like the smell Oh, I love incense too. We're yeah, we are we are a Buddha. I love that. Okay. So the next person is Norma. Round two, Norma. Let's do this. What's your question? I say round two because me and Norma were chatting recently. Oh, okay. That's why. So Norma, what is your question? I'm just refreshing and refreshing. None of my laptop. <laughs> no, because we got too much energy. It's just freezing both my lap. How is that possible? Come on. Because you know you what else a, I can do? You got a troop over there. I got a troop over here. And then everybody else's troops are combining with us. So what can we say? But, you know, I got a, pl I got a plan C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit it from every angle. Because that's what I do. I never give up. Sometimes you might give up in life a little bit for a little while. And that's okay. But then you get back on the saddle. And if you can't, then you ask your team of angels to help you do that. Sometimes it's okay to give up for a little bit. Yeah, take a rest. Take a rest. That's Take a beat. It's called a rest. Not to give up. It's a rest. Yeah, it's a rest. It's you know, a. It's you a. Don't want uh, to be bothered for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that that's pretty much what we would say in all areas of our lives, isn't it? Some you just need to. If you if you go full throttle all the time, then that is you're not. Be wiped out. You're gonna be wiped out. Oh yeah, literally wiped out. You won't believe this, you guys. My Facebook app is not reloading this lot. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That's hallelujah. That's hallelujah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Norma, 
What is my daughter's life purpose and is she on the right path? I'm hearing, yes, she is. She is. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? It came right, right yep. here through my head from your guardian angel. I hear a male guardian angel right there. Um, what's her life purpose? Like, what is her path? He says, <laughs> there's not enough time in this program to list everything that her life purpose entails. Just know that it is a great one. It is a great blessing to have this being of light and love in your life. It's an honor to be able to work with you side by side, Norma. And it's an honor for your daughter's angels as well to work side by side with her. I got He's, this message. <laughs> and and um, are you getting something, Belinda, along the lines of um, communication with this with your with Norma's daughter? Yes. Talking throat throat talking throat chakra. Yep. Talking. It's like when she talks. People really pay attention and listen. And that is part of her life's purpose. And that's all he's giving. How cool is that? Norma's just like laughing. <laughs> Yay, my phone's but working. She, but she likes to talk. Yeah. Talk. I like to talk too. <laughs> I was actually just saying to a friend on the phone last night, I was like, you know, I used to work in a bakery and I got written up for talking too much. I was 18 and then I was like, okay, I better be good talking too much. They wrote me up again and I knew if I had one more write up, that was it. I was getting canned, fired, finito. And I held on. I held on so that I didn't get fired. <laughs> Made it four years there. All right. <laughs> oh, she's saying it's true. Yeah. Norma's agreeing with us. All right. Uh, agreeing with your her angels, your angel. <laughs> We're just channeling what your angel's saying. You're agreeing with your angel. <laughs> um, your angel's sending you love and blessings. He's just showering you with them. He's showering you with them. He hears you when you speak with him. Keep speaking with him. He hears you. That's Amen. They need to keep talking to them all the time. All the time. All the time. Who are, you who are you turning to in your life when you've got a problem? You can turn to your friends if you want, and they'll give them, they'll give you their perspective, which is probably about this wide. And it might because be the human brain. <laughs> but then when you when you turn to your angels, what perspective do you get then? They see everything. And they can help you with everything in all areas of your life. So yeah. I'll pay attention to what my friends tell me, but I'm really paying attention to what my angels are telling me. I'll tell you that. <sighs> okay. I don't always listen, but I'm, you know, I'm not always following it right away, but in the end, 99.999% of the time, right? If I don't follow, <laughs> I get sick. So If I don't follow, they make things uncomfortable because if I go and I ask them for help and then I ignore, hmm, Help me, help me. You're not going to listen. Oh, well, yeah, that's not going to work. You ask for help. Yeah. All right. We have Danica. Are you able to pop up your question? You're super welcome. Super welcome. Danica. Danica. Where are you, girl? You going to post your question? I got my phone working. Thank goodness. And we're ready to rumble. So let's do this. Hi, Bridget. Hi. And Hello, Bonnie. everybody. I don't have no words on my screen. So That's okay. I got you all right here. <laughs> and there's 49 of you paying attention and watching today. We love it. Danica's question is, what do I need to do to move forward? I've been feeling some crazy physical things going on. Meditate. <laughs> Mm. And ground. 
Oh, yeah. You have to do a lot of grounding because you're getting a lot of ascension <laughs> energies and mm-hmm. rewiring of your DNA. So you're going to be feeling it. So if you don't ground, then you deal with it. <laughs> and she's not kidding because I literally lived that where I didn't ground enough and oh my god did I suffer and it was Rebecca McCann with her videos on her YouTube channel Leadership of Light that helped me tremendously I thought oh yeah okay I'll just anchor my root chakra down the earth and I'll talk to the earth yeah yeah okay so I started leaning on trees that really well, helped too hug, hug a tree and, and if it looks silly, just pretend like you're on your phone while you're yeah. leaning, like, you know, like, curling up. Can I have permission? Will you give me permission to hug you? Right. And then you just yes. walk up there, hug the tree, and say, oh, I was just looking for something. And yeah. just hug it like you hug a real person. Yeah. You'll ground fast. And that tree will ground you and transmute any dense energy right into the earth. Epsom salt baths are wonderful. Uh, Palm-sized rose quartz on your lap. But then we drain those rose quartz. So I say go ahead and uh, buy another one and put it back down there. But, you know, ultimately, the more we anchor more light and we ascend, we're going to need to ground more than you did before. So that's what happened to me. I thought, oh, yeah, I got everything covered. Well, oh, 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 oh. So that's why I'm saying to each of you. Without any shoes on. Yeah, without any shoes on. Lay out on the grass. Like you need to get in contact with the earth. And if you can't and you're indoors all the time, then you're putting a rose quartz down on your lap near your root chakra. And, you know, a nice big one. Not a little one. You need a big one. And then you're going to Rebecca McCann's YouTube channel called Leadership of Light. She also has her page on Facebook, Leadership of Light. Highly recommend going there. And you're going there because you're learning information and you're learning how to ground on a whole other level, which is what we all need. We need grounding. Okay, so we hope that that helps Daphne and lots of grounding and lots of love <laughs> and lots of love, lots of love. So, Angela, we're ready for your question here. If you'd like to type your question, and then after Angela, we have Kathy. If you'd like to go ahead and type your question, um, <clears throat> and then we'll be off to the races. So. Are you noticing that the earth is communicating with you telepathically lately at all? A lot. Or is it, oh, okay. It's not just but me I, then. <laughs> but I deal with it a lot at the, the nighttime. When people oh, sleep, yes. When the moon's out, because I must be a moon child. <laughs> I'll tell you, this full moon is like, okay, I'm going to sleep. No, I And that's what happens all night. I can't sleep either. It's, and the moon seems really bright this time. Oh, like yes. the full moon seems yes. like piercing bright. Um, so Angela's question is, do my angels have a message for me concerning my work for them? What else do they want me to do? Continue it. Mm-hmm. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going, I hear. Keep going. And... and- you, branch you out yeah out. and but branching out into the cards mm-hmm. further say, developing right that's what i'm getting taking a channeling class are you i'm watching and waiting as you type okay so here we go my apologies. I did say da- Danica. My apologies. <clears throat> Sorry. We'll, we'll get to yours next, Daphne. My apologies. Things are moving so quickly. I've, I'm multitasking. I got everybody and this and this and this and <laughs> going a little mental over here. So my apologies. Um, but we'll get to that. Okay. So it is. It's about keep going and branching out and further growth. Okay. 
So we're going to go here with um, Daphne's question, if you'd like to take. Who is my main guide and when will my gifts kick in? Thought I heard Archangel Raphael say, I am with you. Um, she also has a rewiring on Friday. Smart woman. All right. I'll tell you those rewires. You want to say anything about your rewire? Aligning. They need adjusting so they can expand a little bit more. And it is required, you're going to be good. Yep, rewire really with Rebecca. Hear things that you're going to be like, oh, yeah. Ooh, Rebecca and Nina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know what else to say other than sometimes you get stuck in life and energetically you need a rewire. You just need a rewire. Just like sometimes you feel like you need a reading. So it's, it's, it's a, you know, an energy thing in which Nina and Rebecca are pros at. So I highly recommend. So what else can she, we're, okay, so she's got a rewire on Friday. She's wondering what her main, um, uh, who her main guide is. You have two guardian angels. Yeah, she has Raphael, she has Michael. Yeah, Archangel Michael. Raphael. Yeah. Gabriel. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that's a lot of archangels. Yeah, she has a lot of archangels. Why does she have so many archangels? Because she's supposed to be working with the angels. That's what I sense, too. She's like a bright light in the midst. Uh-huh, of all the darkness. <laughs> yes, she is. She has, a, she has this dense energy. But she shines brightly for all to see. And she's actually helping to balance it out yep. in her home and in her neighborhood, in her yep. friggin' city. And her friends. <laughs> for me, one of the toughest things that I ever had to do in my life was, you know, remove certain friends from my life and even a few family members. Um, because what happens in life is you will start to raise and raise and raise, but they're just not cap They're not ready to come up and vibrationally not a match anymore. And it's okay to say, okay, like it's time to just, you know, find new friends. Leave them on. Yeah, exactly. They'll come around. They'll say, why are you not coming over? Well, you got to upgrade, girlfriend. You got to upgrade. Exactly. But some will and some won't. And then you just move forward. Right. Yep. Um, so she heard Archangel Michael or sorry, Archangel Raphael talking to her. Yeah. Was Yeah. So, Pay yeah. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention to what he's is telling it, me. Because he's telling so it, me a lot. Yeah. Is there anything Archangel Michael wants to say to her right now? He says he you, loves you. He, said he loves you. That mm -hmm. you're on the right path. Mm -hmm. um, ask for help when you need it. Don't be afraid yeah. if you don't want to voice it. Write it yeah. down, he said. Write it down. Exactly. Said, write it down. I can be anywhere. He said, if you want me to come in your house and help you, I can do that too. He, he's also saying that, you know, sh keep shining brightly, no matter what is happening around you and how other people are. are. You just keep shining brightly for all to see. Don't give up. No. He's also saying help is on the way. All the time. So what kind of help? JC? It does feel like I'm getting it right in the chest. JC. JC. JC's coming. He's a part of your team. They hear you, so they're telling me they hear you. Keep talking to them and asking them for help in all areas of your life. Wherever you need help, you just ask them to help you. And, you know, one of the best things I ever heard in my past, I think it was when I was watching Doreen Virtue on a live radio broadcast. Even if you don't believe, ask anyways. I, I don't care if you believe or not. They don't care either. <laughs> But what they do care in our free will zone is that you ask because they can't help you. <laughs> you know All right. Kathy's question. You want to take this one? 
What are the angels trying to tell me? Are um, they're very vocal, um, but nothing concrete. She can't quite grasp what they're saying. And this is Kathy. Kathy. Kathy, they want you to meditate a little bit more and open up. Do that tap, 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 so you can get your ears in tune. Okay? Yep. And once you get that in tune, you'll hear them more clearly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he said, and Archangel Michael's laughing at me. <laughs> That's Michael. Yeah. Cracking, he's cracking and laughing cracking. all the time. But he says, eventually you're going to hear them. But right now, they want you to meditate a little bit more, ground yourself some more. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you don't hear it from the ears, you're going to hear it telepathically. Sweet. And so, where do we go to learn about tapping and grounding? Leadership of Light right. on YouTube. Rebecca is. The best at her videos showing people how to do that i'll tell you that right now saving grace for me now i have a question um uh here which has been asked of me because the individual lives in australia and they can't be live with us okay so they can never get their questions answered because they don't they're on a such a different time zone so i'm going to channel the answer for this one uh this one is for you paul um uh, Paul would like to know the spiritual significance and reason of what was happening to him when he had the lucid dream about his body spinning very fast while lying in a bed a couple of years ago. Wow. It's all about connecting with spirit, connecting with the energy. Raising of your vibrational frequency. Go within. Yep. Yep. And now, you know what they're saying? Your guardian angel saying where you were two years ago or to now is huge uh, development in your spiritual growth. And they're so proud of you. Um, they're not, they're, they say that um, they're laughing and saying that they're going to um, try to not rock the boat and um, like, uh, what's the, like scare you or um, <clears throat> nothing's going to be scary here. So they're, they're going to try and make this a smooth transition. Smoother, uh, smooth transition now and what happened then two years ago will not repeat again. They just want you to know it'll be a smooth transition. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So the next uh, person on the list is Amanda. If you want to type your question. Uh, Amanda, we're looking for your question here. Just rotating down. <clears throat> so if you want, and then after Amanda is uh, Jenna, J-A-N-A. -A. And... Do you want to answer the question for Richard Rod Rodriguez? He's having health issues right now. And I thought while we're waiting for Amanda's question to pop up, it's here. But I thought we could just uh, maybe get some guidance for Richard Rodriguez, if you could help him out with that. Ricky, you need to go to uh, Kevin. Ooh. Go to Kevin. They saying go to Kevin. Wow. He has the angelic healing. Yeah. And he will help align everything for you and take some of that pain away. Or the sickness. Yeah. I call on Raphael. Yeah. And um, for those of you that don't know, um, Kevin Morris is offering a group healing on July 15th. Um, and he is going to be offering that for $25 per person. And it's going to be huge. I know it's going to be huge because I hear Jesus and I hear the archangels and the angels telling me that there's going to be a massive amount of energy coming through that. And whether you can make it at that time on July 15th at noon or not, 
Um, you're still, you're still going to get the healing if you pay for it. And then your name is in that group, which is going to be a secret group on Facebook that everybody will come into. You can watch the broadcast later or be there in person and you will still get the healing because there's no time or space constraints for the angelic realm or the ascended masters. Um, and he'll be answering questions afterwards as well. But Kevin also does uh, one on one angelic Reiki healings as well. Um, which I had my first one uh, last Friday and it was incredible. It was incredible. Um, I could hear the healing angels talking with me while it was happening. I could hear Jesus um, and the healing went on for days. The next day I was so flatlined, I couldn't do much. Um, and my angels just kept saying, you need to rest. I, I wanted to clean my house, but I couldn't even do that. I'm not saying everybody will experience that. But what I'm telling you is that what I experienced during that healing was absolutely heavenly. It was just amazing. So if you can, um, you know, reach out to Kevin Morris on uh, Facebook. Um, you know, he has his business page and is Kevin Morris, um, Angelic Reiki Healer. Huge. Um, Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S. Yeah, that's his last name. Okay, so there you go. Uh, Amanda, what is my purpose? Am I making the right choice to change careers? Who, oh man, I hear your angels just yelling, yes, <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. I'm crazy in my head. Who are the, my main guys and angels? Archangel Michael, mm -hmm. Archangel Raphael, mm -hmm. you have two guardian angels, one male, one female. <laughs> hey, are, are we saying the same thing at the same time? <laughs> what am I going to say next, Belinda? <laughs> How many angels does she have? A lot. Twelve. I, I see. Fourteen. Whoa! I saw fourteen right now. I see, I see. fourteen right now. Sweet. So. Bring it on. You know, I could see twelve, but you may have some coming and going. You know yeah. what I've seen this past year is little training angels that are coming in and they're coming and going and helping the other angels. It's it's priceless to see. I'm like, what is that? It's bouncing around like a little like a little kid angel, and they're like little trainer trainee trainee angels. I'm like, okay, sounds great. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Richard, you know Kevin. You're friends with him on Facebook. So you know Kevin well, actually. And uh, he's doing angelic Reiki healing now. Um, I've heard a lot of people having healings with Kevin, and they're pretty incredible, to be honest. Um, the one thing that seems to be uh, uh, the... He has a lot of success in certain areas. So he has a success in all areas, really. Let's be honest. We're all we're all onions, right? So it's layers. Yeah. And and the angels are working on that healing goes on for weeks. It doesn't just happen, oh, okay, and that hour's over. It goes on for weeks. Um okay. So so let's see, I'm just backing up the horse. <laughs> So um, here we go. So what is her purpose? She definitely should do this career change. There's no question. And so what do you see as being her purpose? Ooh, it's a light filled divine path ahead of you. Yes, it's very light. Um, Many. Yeah. And. Um, Reading of the cards. Uh, yeah. Working with the angels. That's where yeah. she start. Reading the cards, um, the angel cards. Yeah. It's a very, um, there's a lot of light, beings of light and love helping you. That's what they're telling me. And um, somebody just said right into my right ear, uh, which is your uh, female guardian angel. I knew it was a female. Um, uh, soon. Very soon. 
uh, <laughs> hand off your worries and, and fears to us repeatedly so that we may transmute them into the light, July. into the light, into the light. July. You're seeing July? That she's laughing. Good. She's laughing. She's and laughing. She's laughing. She's laughing with mine. Like, uh... <laughs> you know, and I don't just hear her laughing. I actually feel her energy mm -hmm. <laughs> on the side of my head. It's not like I just hear her. I'm like, <laughs> okay, Amanda. So just relax, hand off your worries. Your team's got your back. You Jana. All right. Where are we going here? What's her purpose? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, well, that's what's on everybody's mind right now. Where do I go and what path do I walk, right? So, Jana, we're waiting for you to type your question. I'm in you're, you're, yeah, you're very, very welcome. That'll be the next. And then, Lorenda, if you can go ahead and type your question. Oh. Uh, I can't see nobody's questions, so I know. I'm just dealing it from the spirit, y'all. God, I have my phone today because both my laptops don't seem to be. <laughs> I, I don't know. Write, I can't even type a message. <laughs> well, you're just going to grace them with your words today. That's what they want. Grace them and, and pass along these divinely guided messages. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. I am raising my grandson. The heavens opened and gave me this great blessing as I wasn't part of the court case. The judge gave me full custody a year ago. Is Archangel Michael guiding and protecting us both? Will I have him always? I feel, no, I mean, I think she means will I always have her grandson in her custody? I think oh, yeah. that that's what she means. Not going nowhere. Not I feel... She says, I feel like this little one has a great purpose and needs to be protected and guiding. Any advice? It's stressful with his dad, my son, and ex-in-law. I feel no anger towards them. I just want to protect the little one. I've seen Archangel Michael in a dream concerning a healing before. He's meant to be with you. He's meant. He's not going nowhere. Nope. All the angels are right here saying, um, "Yep, he was meant for you." <laughs> that and the court systems aren't going to see it any other way than he is meant to be with you. So you don't. They're saying, "Fret not, fret not." Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. worry. Don't worry it. about anything. They don't worry it. about nothing. Because I'll tell you this: when you have Archangel Michael working with you. Pfft, you're fine. You are fine. And JC's right there too. He comes in and out. Archangel Michael's cracking a joke. <laughs> He's like, that's right. <laughs> he reminds me of Eric sometimes. He does. He, he's constantly making me laugh. It's hilarious. So you're you are golden. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. So Lorenda. What guidance do they have for me in areas of study next? Let's see what we're getting here. Hmm. You get the same thing. It's kind of like. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. All right. Or what are you getting? Because I'm getting like, maybe it's taking a some time to come in. Right. It's just like. Whew. Slow down. Yeah, it's slowing down. It's not moving forward and doing. It's right. slowing down. Right. That's what we're getting. Yeah. Because it's not like, it's like. No, it's like you have to concentrate on what you got right now. That's what they say. Going within. Yeah. Going within. Uh, they're saying sometimes when you do too much in life and you're constantly busy and doing, you neglect what is the most important. Thing. most important, in my opinion. They're saying very important. I say most important, which is going within, connecting, nurturing, connecting yes. with spirit, connecting with your soul, nurturing your soul. And loving yourself, sweetheart. Oh, man. That's what I just got. Love yourself. 
the greatest always, gift. You're always loving everybody else, but you're not loving them for yourself. So how are some ways that we love ourselves? Look in the mirror and say, baby, I'm beautiful. I love you. I say I it right to my you. eyes in the mirror. I love you. Thank and I mean God. it when I say it. Yeah. At first it was uncomfortable, though, but I kept doing it. And then you manifest it into being. I got teeth that got to be replaced. I don't care right now. I love me. Exactly. If you don't like it, don't look at yep. it. Don't yep. <laughs> and me and Belinda, we're in the same boat. We both have to get our teeth replaced. And, um, you know, I got cement like you don't believe on the inside holding my front teeth together. If they weren't there, I would have many gone by now. And I know that, you know, times are coming when these bad yeah, boys are going to get replaced. But but I'm not worried about that. No. They tell me I've Right. Because I handed it off to Jesus, and there, and it's coming. That's what I keep okay, hearing. Don't worry, it's coming. Yeah, and you know what? Um, what we deem as beauty in society and loving yourself are two different things. Yeah. Loving yourself is loving yourself, no matter what anyone else has to say, and others' opinions of the of you are none of your business. Thank you. I'm beautiful. And I, and I love my energy, and I love being here, and I love where I am. And I love meeting people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And learning new things. And I'm always take, learning something new every day. And also taking time for yourself, like resting when you need to rest. Have a nap when you need to have a nap. Who says that we have today. to do all this? They will let me do nothing today. I did what I had to do, and they said, okay, you're going to stay up again. I've been up for three nights in a row. Oh, man, One you night, are getting let tell, it. Let me tell you. Oh, I was listening to Prince on the radio. Oh, I love Prince. Then I put Prince on the YouTube. Me and yeah. Prince was rocking. Next yeah. Time, oh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I love that. Friends, baby, I got to go to sleep now. You know what I <laughs> like? I guarantee you his energy was there with you while you're yes. playing that, keeping yes. you up. I was yeah. up. It was 1999 again. Oh, I love that song. Girl. God, I love that I can song. Stop and get you moving, getting you on a do thing. And then you realize, wow, I ain't been asleep yet. Mm. What's going on? <laughs> He's like, I'll tell you what's going on. We're going to have another dance party tonight. Yeah. You know, I, like Woo! To, I like to shake my body. And that's my exercise. When I dance, I get it on. You know? Well, and you lift your energy and you yeah, feel good. feel good. That's another way to love yourself. Put the music yeah. on. Feel yourself. Dance. Lift yeah. your vibrational frequency. Feel good. It lifts me up. It, it, it takes whatever negativity that was around me away from yeah. me. Yeah. That don't turn up. Nothing. It is so... Nothing low vibration wants to hang out with you when you're super high vibrational. I love that. <laughs> All right. Katya, bring it on. Um, definitely, Brooke. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of angels appear to people uh, who have posted in the group. How, how do angels appear? Orbs. Orbs. Uh, sparkle Bright trails. Light. Bright lights. Yeah. Um, like I'll see uh, white, yeah, or shadow pass. You're like, what the, or um, a sparkle trail. I'll see sparkle trails, or just like bright white light go ping ping. Or sometimes oh. I play with your lights. Last night they were playing with my lights. Okay. I can't believe you're saying that. <laughs> it flicked off, flicked on, off on, and I'm like, that never does that. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Like getting my attention. We're here. That's right. Oh, Any yeah. Any way they can. To Any you. way they can to reach you, they will. Let me tell you. Okay. Or well, they might touch your skin, touch your hair, or whisper in your ear, and you'd be like, what's what the heck? I think it's a bug. Why is my ear? Yeah, or like silence ringing in your ear or energy in your throat chakra that just makes you cough but your throat wasn't itchy they're trying to communicate with you yeah, so all you have to do like, oh, oh. yeah coughing and i'm like can you stop putting it in my throat chakra stick it in here because <laughs> seriously this makes you cough drive you mental 
So basically, I just say, okay, I'm going to still my mind and I'm going to listen to what you have to say. And then it may sound like your own internal voice forming words in your mind while it's nice and quiet, but it's them always loving, always high vibrational. And always telling you the right thing to do. Always. That's up to you to take it or not. Mm -hmm. But if it's really important and you ignore it, they'll make sure you follow. So, okay, you want to take uh, Katia's question? Um, I want guidance about college, work, and possibly how to improve myself. So uh, she's looking at college. She's looking at work and how to improve herself. Okay. Get into that college because it will help you improve yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Work part-time if you have time. Yep. Because college is going to be a lot for you to do. Yep. It's yep. something that's going to open up your mind. You're going to take classes that's going to, you're going to be saying, what, that really happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take some classes that you ain't never thought of taking. Oh, cool. And I might take astrology. Super cool. Because you like to deal with the zodiacs. Hmm. Ooh, girl, you like numbers, too. So you like math, huh? You into math? Are Actually, you in, Are you into math? You want to type that? Go ahead, Katya. Are you into numbers and math? Do you feel drawn towards numerology? You know, Katya, what I'm getting is it comes to self-love. Yeah. Um, you know, the greatest gift you can give yourself in this lifetime is self-love. And I hear that from the angels in so many readings. And everybody, everybody in here got a self-love themselves. Mm -hmm. Focus inward and focus on yourself. Take good they, care of yourself. They want her to take her time. They don't want her to run to work. Right. To spend some time. But then Balance. And her schooling. Mm hmm because Balance. she got to be able to choose, which they're going to help her choose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what classes to take. That's why I asked her, was she into the Zodiac? She is, and she's saying I yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I know. I love your confidence. I have, I have well, I mean, like, you know, because they're telling any, you. So. I don't have any questions here. I don't know what she's saying. I don't know her response. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah, because you hear them loud and clear. Um, she can work part time if she wants. They say part time for two hours, three hours a week. Yeah, hours. like don't over, don't well, over, don't overdo it. The school load, the, the workload in school. Yeah, the workload for school sounds immense. So we're going to take Kate Eggers' question, and then if, uh, you know, four or five people want to pop up their questions right now, these are going to be the last people that we take, okay? Kate's, Kate's question is, do these... Women, before we do Kate's. Yes. I want, I want someone that has never, this is their first time in our group. Yes. That never got a read. Okay. So if you haven't, have never asked a question here, or maybe this is your second or third time, pop up your question. And we'll we'll relay some guidance for you, um, Kate. I don't think I've seen you ask questions often, so here we go. And your question looks pretty uh, important here. Okay. Kate's question is: Do the angels have any messages for me regarding my pregnancy? I hear everything is all right. Everything is okay. Stop worrying. Yeah, because that's the. First thing worry, in my head. It says, when you worry, it's making the baby chicka chicka. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, be calm and tranquil. There's nothing to worry about. That baby's not going nowhere. Yeah. That baby is here to stay, girlfriend. Yeah. Hello, so, hello, baby. <laughs> I love that. You are so so awesome, Belinda. Seriously, so awesome. So here we are. Anna would like to know what are her next steps to take, please. Are you, 
So like you're looking at your spiritual steps and thinking, right? Right, Anna? No, she's looking at a lot of steps. You're not just talking spiritually. PM me. <laughs> yeah, I think you need a private message, Belinda, on that one. Yeah. If that's okay. And she's saying it's okay to private message her, so then it's okay in the group. Oh, yeah. Okay. She, Belinda's saying it's okay for you to private message her, so go ahead. Uh, Teresa, I came across a business opportunity that may end up being a way to exit her nine to five job. How freaking awesome is that, Teresa? And give a more flexible schedule. Is this just a dangling carrot or a real opportunity? It is. It's an, it's an MLM company. So just so we see that big picture. Okay. I'm getting the same thing as you, Belinda. It's a big opportunity. Go for it. I'm getting the same thing. They say that you're hesitant and nervous, obviously. Because it's something uh, new. It's something new. But, but Sarah's so saying, step forth, step forth, step forth upon this path. Amen. Thank Molly. You. Uh, Molly says, I have physical handprints that appear on the mirrors in my bathroom and wonder why they're coming. Who are they and what are they trying to tell me? It's not the angels. No, I think it's your fairies. That's what I was thinking. The first thing that came into my head was fairies, but I'm like, I just waited. It's not the angels. Fairies. Feel the energy, Molly. It feels, um, you can feel it in your body. It's like light and fluttery. And that's angels. That you want to take off. Yeah, like you want to fly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a fluttery kind of feeling. Yes, it is the fairies. <laughs> they're they're just trying to help you. They don't also they, want you to come. Don't they? Take, they want yeah. Talk to them. Don't they? Sometimes and they take things that don't belong to them and hide them from. Mm -hmm. you. And they want you to go outside more. They want you to come with them outside, and they will come with you outside. And then they can. Uh, they're going to work on you and help you. It's like um, just constantly any low vibrational energy, they're just going to remove it from the onion, <laughs> layer of the onion. Someone's trying to get my attention here. <clears throat> is that JC? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known, hey? Uh -huh. <laughs> I told him to stop tickling my nose. I'm like, you're driving me nuts with the nose tickling. So now he's coming in. My he just came right through the back of my neck. And he says, I would like to speak at the end. And I, <clears throat> okay, sounds great. <laughs> He's laughing. <clears throat> <laughs> Kim, why can't I feel my spirits or see them or hear them when so I am so desperately wanting to? I want to desperately feel my cat and just passed away, for example. I That's see the, the heart. Yeah. And I'm also seeing the master channeling course yeah. with Rebecca Stop and Kristen. Trying. Stop trying so hard. Sometimes you gotta relax. It's almost like you need to learn the steps. You really need to learn that to get there, which they're saying that the course is the way to help you do that. And I'm not gonna be plugging my own course um, unless it's necessary. Because there have been people that have come to me and they're like, do you think it's best that I come into the Master Channeling course? And then I listen to their team and they say no. And I tell them no. And I'm like, no. But with you, it is a yes. Um, but again, that's your own free will choosing if you'd like to do that. It's about learning. Um, it's about learning a lot of stuff. It's not just about channeling. No, it's, uh, it's learning different techniques, different yeah, ways. Going different out, ways, and moving blocks. What works for you? Grounding. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. What is my life purpose and am I on track? And this is from Katie. Am I Are you getting that she's going to be shifting gears pretty soon? Yes. But I'm trying to figure out what to, I'm trying to listen. To yeah, this. yeah, I know. It's not like it's coming in easy here. Hold on. I'm seeing you're coming on this path, and then um, 
So instead of continuing on this path, you're going to shift gears onto another path. Like yes. In a road. Yes. And and your guardian angel saying yes. And it's your male guardian angel. And my God, he's coming into the back of my head. I'm just going to ask him to, it's kind of hurting a little bit. Can you just step back a little bit? He's saying, he's saying he's sorry. He's stepping back a little bit. What else would you like to say? He says he loves you for, he says he loves you eternally forevermore. I know you guys have heard the angel say this, but this is what I'm hearing. Forevermore. He's going like this to her. Yeah. Blowing you kisses. He says everything's going to be all right. It's almost like, um, you know, there's layers of an onion, right? And it's like these top layers really need to be removed. This, what do you want to call that? Um, you know, we all have this, like, come on. It's just a matter of how much and how long it's been there. This just needs to come and be removed. And the best way to do that is, he is saying the rewire with Rebecca and Nina would do wonders for you. Mm -hmm. But he's also saying um, grounding, lots of grounding out in nature is also really good. He's saying the rewire again. So if you feel pulled in that direction, you can contact Rebecca and Nina for a rewire. Okay. Brianna would like to know, what does my future hold for employment? Mm. Right now, it's about more rest and relaxation. Yeah, because you're going to be doing some heavy ascending. Yep. And you're going to feel things that you've never felt before. Yep. Big so, time. It's not I the advise, truth. I advise you to rest. Yep. Get as much rest as you possibly can. Yes. It's all about rest. And they're just repeating that over and over. Don't worry about the uh, employment. Okay. That's, that's easier. That's That'll come. But right now, just don't even, it's not, it shouldn't even be on your radar right now. What is on your radar right now is rest and relaxation. Rest but, the, inner, but the employment will come. Inner. Inner. Going inward, relaxing. You see. Love yourself, girl. Yeah. And, and also. Take that beauty bath. <laughs> you can go through life and like buck the current with worry, 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 and you're not going to stop the flow of your angel and God's love and light coming into your life to assist you, but you will kind of buck it, right? You're rolling in the boat and you're rolling against the current. So if you just put the oars in the boat. Don't think about the employment. Chill out, relax and rest. It's practice. This isn't an easy, this is like, oh, okay, my goal is to rest and relax. Okay. And then the boat just naturally will go and turn with the current and go with the flow of source and the angels. And then they can come right into your life and work in ways you can't even imagine. It's miraculous. I've seen it too many times in my own life to say that this does not, is that this is not happening. So go with the flow. Practice it. Don't go against the current. Don't roll against the current. And what is rolling against the current? Worry, worry, fear, fear, worry, worry. Hand it off. Oh, I Relax. Can't I, can't I can't do this. I can't let go. I have obligations. I can't do this. Well, just more of what you're saying. You're just manifesting more of what you're saying. Um, okay. Danielle says, I have a blockage with school. I was... Um, and she would like to know if her angel has any messages for her. Danielle, I'm pretty sure this is your first question here in the group. And she would like to know uh, with this blockage with school. It's not meant to come to pass. What does that mean? This schooling, this education. You're not feeling it because this isn't the path that you're meant to take. Is your male guardian angel here talking? Go with the flow, like Kristen says. Go with the flow. Don't buck the current by worrying about it. Talk to us often and ask us to help us in all areas of your life. 
We can help you in ways you can't imagine. And you're in the wrong place. <laughs> it's, it's just like focus in another direction. It's, it, it, you're not, you're blocked there. You're not feeling it because that's not the path that you're meant to take. He's saying exactly. So what path does she take then? He says, relax and go with the flow, like Kristen said. Then the path yeah, ahead her. will, yeah. It, oh, sorry, what are you saying? They'll yeah, show her. They'll show her. She That's exactly what he's saying. She got to <laughs> rest. Right. Yeah, just rest and relax, and then they'll show you. They'll show you the path. We, sometimes we don't have to do anything. Our job is to chill out. Like Eric says, chill the fuck out. I don't usually like to swear too much on camera, but. That's one of Eric's favorite words. Oh, I'll tell you, doesn't he? And it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not comfortable for me to channel him sometimes because I'm like, what are we going to be doing today? <laughs> but I do it. I do it anyways. But you got to rest, sweetheart. Rest. Uh -huh. Take a rest. That, that class is overpowering your head anyway. So yeah. Put it down. Yeah. yeah. Get your money back if you can. <laughs> yeah. Ebony, please... Um, I need to know what do I need to do for my AA to get me and my family out of this apartment to a bigger and better one and life. So what does Ebony need to do to That's get her? <laughs> Is that what they're saying? Yep. Giddy up. It's Archangel Michael and he would like to take this one. He's saying, call him in. Call him in to live in your house. Why? Because he's going to vacuum the house of uh, low vibrational energy, cut cords, and shield your house from the energy outside. He'll be near the entrance of your apartment. He doesn't want you to worry about where you're living right now. Call him in. Now, call him in now, right now. So, Ebony, you got that message yesterday. Now you're going to listen again because you got it twice. You got confirmation, Ebony. I did not know that. I gave her the message yesterday. <laughs> it's Archangel Michael, and he's coming through with a little bit of sternness here. He's not mincing his words. You need to call on him. He needs to come and move into your house. Live with her. Live with her. Live in your home. And when he asked me that many years ago, I'm like, why would I do that? And he said, because you talk to me all the time. I'll come move into your house. Uh, my, his energy is right over here by my water cooler. And then he'll shield your house. He'll work with everyone in the home. So wherever you go, he comes with you. And he'll help lift the density and the low vibration in your home and in your life. Anything else? No. <laughs> and he's blunt. He's not mincing words. He's not. He's not. He, he, he's he's not, not messing around. It's like he's like, she was told this already, so I don't know why he's not calling on you. Yes. Yep. He was told that plenty of times. And even when you ask him to move into your house, you're talking to him and asking him to help you in different areas of your life. Right. Do it. I've been doing it now for 15 years. I know how it operates to work with him on a one-to-one -one basis. He's here with me in every lifetime that I have. He's told me this. I feel like he's my big brother. I know him and me have done this so many times together. Okay, so we'll take two more people. Kelly, what is my dog seeing in the house? He stares at the ceiling a lot, and he's shaking. He's seeing spirits. Yep. But it's nothing to be concerned about. But he, the dog don't know. She the dog don't take, know. He need to take her dog and hold her dog and tell him it'll be okay, baby. You can That's also... And then she needs to ask, who are you? You can also call on your team of angels to help comfort your dog. They would really like that. Everything's okay. Um, there's nothing to be concerned about here. 
Uh, Stephanie, last question. Can you please give me some guidance, please, any messages about my purpose, who I am working with, long before I can focus on hearing messages? Hmm. Can you please give me some guidance? Let's work with that. And she's looking at her life's pur her purpose. Any guidance on her life's purpose for Stephanie? I'll let you go first. She's all over the place. That's exactly what I was getting. <laughs> You're <laughs> like a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit. Yes. There. Holy smokes! Sorry, I'm banging my mouth. <laughs> You don't know what you want. Relax. Relax. The main thing they want you to do moving forward is grounding. And lots of it. At least 30 minutes every day. That's your that's your homework. Grounding. Out in nature, leaning on a tree, putting a rose quartz crystal on your lap, having an Epsom salt bath, going to leadership of light on YouTube in order to watch the material, in order to do the grounding techniques. If it wasn't for those videos from Rebecca on leadership of light, my ascension symptoms would be where they were, which were unbearable. But with you, your mind is all over the map. Everywhere but right. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy. It's like you're out here and they want you to come back into your body. And how do you come back into your body to have more of a centered focus, they're calling? Centered focus is by grounding. And that is all that they request of you at this time. That's it. There's nothing else. And Jesus said he's ready to come forward. Thank you for that reminder because I was about to forget. See, he comes to you. He knows. <laughs> he's saying, dear ones, aren't these two amazing? Aren't these two amazing? <laughs> they are in the flow. They are in the flow. They choose to put the oars in the boat and go with the flow in life. And this is what I ask of each of you. Put the oars in the boat and go with the flow. Instead of bucking the current and rowing against the current. What you know you what. Know? Yeah. And he says, you know what I speak of. Many of you are entrenched in low vibrational thoughts and thinking. And you have ideas of how this is supposed to work. These two know how it works because they go with the flow in life. Go with the flow. And whether you believe or not, speak with your divine team often, out loud in your mind or the written word. He says, that is it for today. Thank you. It has, been a, yeah, it has been an honor and a blessing to be able to speak through this one upon this fine day. Amen. 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 I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, we will definitely be doing this again. Yeah. Next month. Next month. Next month. Next month. Awesome. Love all of you guys. <laughs> Mwah. Love y'all. Love you.